Now, sarcoids in horses. Um, it's something that most horse owners will have heard of, and it worries a lot of horse owners. Um, probably correctly, but sometimes uh, they're not as worrisome as we may think. Um, they're very, very common. And are they getting more common? Uh, maybe very difficult to say, but it's something that we come across an awful lot. And people are, ask a lot of questions about them. So this video is just to try and help you gain a little bit of knowledge about sarcoid. So I mean, what is a sarcoid? So sarcoid is a, is a skin tumor. So it is a type of cancer. Um, you find them um, all over the horse and in different numbers, and there are different types of sarcoid. But by type, it, that is just a, that's just vets classifying those sarcoids in different ways. They're still the same problem. Um, they're not the type of tumor that will spread. They may locally increase in number and they will increase in size, but they don't what we call metastasize. So they don't go to the horse's lungs or the liver or anything like that. So yes, they're a type of cancer, but they are not the most worrisome uh, of the cancers that one can deal with. Though cancer in horses is extremely rare, but that's a different, different thing. So sarcoids are found most commonly, they can be found everywhere, but most commonly on the neck, on the inside of the front legs, on the belly, and on the inside of the hind legs. So that's where you need to have a look if you're concerned. You can get sarcoids associated with wounds. Now obviously a lot of wounds occur in the lower leg, so it is possible to get sarcoids down there. It's, it's rare, it is rare, but it, it certainly exists. Um, so do, when do we need to worry about a sarcoid? Well, you need to worry about sarcoids if they are in certain areas. So if they're on the eyes or around the eyes, that's extremely worrying. Around the ear, that's worrying. An area where the tack sits. So on the belly, um, where, the, where the girth is going to sit, that is a problem. Or anywhere on the face where the bridle may sit, that also is a problem. Then it comes down to really the age of the horse and the number of sarcoids it might have. So to, just to illustrate this simply, um, if you have a 25-year-old horse with one sarcoid, you are not going to be worried about that horse at all with regards to sarcoids. If you have a two-year-old horse with 10 sarcoids, you're going to be really concerned about that. Sarcoids themselves don't normally end up um, being fatal to the horse, but they certainly can lead in situations where that horse might actually need to be put down because of its welfare. So if you have a large number of sarcoids that are causing continual discomfort, uh, maybe because they are ulcerating and they're, um, they're bleeding and they're being attacked by flies, that is a problem. It is relatively rare that, but it certainly does happen. So you've, you've got to be You've got to be aware of, of that and don't just ignore them. Always seek advice. And the advice might be what we call benign neglect, as in leave alone for now. Or it might be, no, I think we need to deal with those and we need to deal with that right now. So always talk it through with your vets. I mean, that's what we're here for. Call us, we'll talk it through. Send us pictures on, um, on our phones. We're very happy to look at pictures uh, so we can give you proper advice. How do you treat them? Well, there's benign neglect, which is do nothing at all. Um, then there are a few ways of doing it. One of the most common ways is now using a, a cream, um, which is a cytotoxic cream. All that means is it kills cells. They're specially formulated for sarcoids. Um, so you can put cream on them. Laser therapy now is a very, or laser surgery really, uh, is a very common way of dealing with sarcoids. And that's where they're cut off with the laser. Now, the, the reason uh, you use laser and not normal surgery is that the laser actually uh, it works by burning. So it, it burns as you cut. Uh, and then you can actually burn the, uh, the, what we call the wound bed. So where you've taken that lump out, the, the bit that's remaining, the flesh basically can be burnt. That sounds awful. Uh, it's not as bad as it may seem. You've got local anesthetic there. Um, that can be highly, highly effective. But there are other ways of going about this as well. If conventional medicine doesn't work, yeah, there is unconventional medicine. I have had success with homeopathy, etc. Needs carefully thinking about, but it can, it can work in certain circumstances. The really important thing, though, is please don't put homemade 
or um, medicines on it or stuff you found on the internet or anything like that at all. The one thing that is absolute with sarcoids is that um, every time you unsuccessfully treat that particular sarcoid, it will get more resistant to treatment. So your first treatment, you want to be the most potent and the most successful because if that fails, then the next time you have to treat that sarcoid, it won't be as effective. So if, if someone has put an awful lot of different creams on it and they've done this and done that, you can then find yourself in a situation where you've got a resistant sarcoid and you might not be able to do anything with it at all. So please, um, it's understandable, please resist the temptation to self-treat sarcoids. Call us, ask our advice. We'll give, us, we'll give you all, all the options that are available to you. And hopefully then you know, you, you'll, you'll have a successful outcome. And the other thing that uh, determines um, the significance of a, of a sarcoid are the type of sarcoids. Uh, for example, there are occult, varicose, fibroblastic, nodular, uh, and mixed. Mixed simply means you know, one of those other four modes. Occult means you can barely see them. They can be very, very difficult to identify. That's where we kind of come in, really. We, should, we would be able to identify them, but a, a, an owner might miss that entirely. Varicose just look like warts. They'll be quite big, quite flat, but they'll be very small, just like a normal wart. Fibroblastic, they're the sort of nasty looking ones. They're kind of bleeding and look angry. Um, nodular, another classic sarcoid, just a lump underneath the skin. Uh, and mixed, as I said, is different ones. Fibroblastic ones require treatment. Uh, nodular ones are very easy to deal with normally. Varicose is the most common one. That's your classic sarcoid. Uh, and as I say, occult are difficult to pick up. So again, we need to know what the type of the sarcoid is, where that's when we have a look and see what the sarcoid is like. Um, or you send us a, a photo and we can actually uh, tell you.